My name is, who? my name is, my name is Austin Myers. Okay, so Austin, I thought that it was really great that, um, that you're like a leader in your position, especially at, what, 24? 25 now, my birthday 20, was yesterday. Oh yeah, it was yesterday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Um, and I've heard some like good stuff about you, about you being very direct, and I think that's very important to not only be a leader to other people, but like in your own life. So, I just have a couple questions for you. Um, my first question is, what is it like being in, um, in management and leadership at 24? Mm, I'd say, at first, it's a difficult like position to be because being that I'm so young and that I moved up so fast, like a lot of people that are in my department, in my field, are younger than me. I mean, older than me, I'm sorry. They're older than me, so it's like, I have authority and power over you and they're like, no way that should be possible because you're younger than me. So it's, I guess it's kind of awkward for them to be sort of listening to me and taking orders from me when I'm young. And But at the same token, it's hard for me because it's like, I'm not really the one to give people like directions and stuff like that. I'm more so like, I'm going to do the work if you're not going to do it. So, you know. So. So you don't so you don't really be like, hey, do this, like telling people what to do? In the beginning, yeah. I didn't do that. Cause I was so caught up in, okay, if they're not gonna do it, I'ma just move you out the way and I'm gonna take care of it because you're not gonna take the initiative and jump on it. But now so because I have so much work piled up on me, I have to delegate things towards people. So as it got for as I got further along in this position, I was it, it became more easier because it was like I can't do everything. Mm -hmm. I'm not a robot. I'm not Superman like I thought I was. <laughs> so it's like, yo, you got to do this, you got to do that, and I got to handle stuff that I have to do. Okay. Cool. All right, my next uh, question is, do you find that people sometimes, like, try you because you're younger, um, like customers and, like, other workers, like coworkers? I wouldn't more say, I wouldn't more so say customers because they don't technically really know that I'm a manager because it's not... Uh, name tag that says, hey, this guy's a manager. It's not nothing like that. It's just my name tag. I'm Austin. So they kind of like respect me, I guess, as they respect everybody. But as far as employees, yeah, all the time. I get plenty of people that's like, hey, man, I was 30 minutes late. You can look out for me. You can take. And it's like, I, I can only give you one because because the goodness of my heart, I can only do that one time. But after that, I have to just take eat friend or not. I have to take initiative. I have to write you up. I have to take the right precautions to, you know, handle what you did because what you did is not fair to other people and also at the same token it's wrong yeah yeah and like you can't just be pulling up at 30 minutes late you can't. like but, it's cool mm -hmm. hey man you got me no yeah. but being that <laughs> they think i'm because i'm a friendly person and being that we're friends it's like oh austin got me because you know i can pull one open because he's a friend and i had to kind of step back because if i were in that position i'm pretty sure they probably wouldn't have did that for me you know so i just said look it's either me or you yeah. you know that's definitely true Okay, so my next thing is, how does getting straight to the point help you in your position? Hmm. I say getting straight, that, that helps a lot because it, it alleviates a lot of confusion and misdirection. By me getting straight to the point, it's like, okay, this is what I need done. You got to get that done. Versus me having to explain this, this, that, and then the person's like, what? I don't really understand. Or they get lost into me trying to explain it to them, and they're like, so wait, what'd you say again? You know, it's just getting a clear and uh, level understanding. Okay. So how does that affect you like outside of work, getting straight? Cause, Cause from what I hear from your dear old cousin here, he says you are very straight to the point, very direct, very blunt. You just, you just get to it. I don't know. As weird as I said, I'm like that towards them and other people, but certain, certain, it's like, it's a certain, circumstance that has to occur for me to be like that like say for instance if i'm on like game chat or something like that with stepping in, it's as it's like family i'm home you know what i'm saying i can be comfortable i can just say hey look this 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 that's just how it is <laughs> i mean and they know like i'm not really being serious about it but they know like yeah he, he mean what he's saying mm -hmm. you know but as far as work environment i just you got to if yeah. you don't people will run you over left yeah. and right left and right that's very true because you know, mm, I, know. I understand because because i need help with that <laughs> so, my last question is do you have any tips for some of us newbies that aren't as good I mean aren't as good at that type of stuff being direct 
and like maybe scared of like hurting people's feelings or whatever? I'd say, as cliche as this may sound, to prepare yourself to try and like get into my role or something like that. I say practice talking to yourself in the mirror mm -hmm. and you know imagine that you're somebody else and you're trying to explain like yo this is what I need to get like you know just just try and work out scenarios with yourself or if you don't even want to do that and you feel weird about that just get like a stuffed animal which everybody probably has <laughs> and you just like yo we need to talk let's have a talk you know and get to the point but I I recommend also just getting it get, trying to get to that role I recommend stay humble and stay hungry okay be be that way because a lot of stuff in life is not going to be handed to you. Mm -hmm. you if you want it you have to go get it you have to become a go-getter there's no if ands or but about it that's just the way the world is yeah, so, okay um, I don't know what context like is that which I got now you was there for like I was two, two months or no I, I was yeah two two yeah two months and they was like okay I see because I'm not the type of person that's going to stand back and watch somebody somebody over me like do a job i'm like i want to learn that i want to get I'm, i don't want to be stuck or comfortable in my same position that's that's probably why i'm always on the move and i always direct about what i want is because i don't like staying comfortable if i feel myself getting comfortable then that's when i feel like things are starting not going in the right place i want any, every, everything and anything i do to go up and say i want to succeed Mr. I want to succeed, okay? I got right. places to go, people to see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A I life to said. live. <laughs> all right, well, thank you, Austin. Oh, no problem. And I'm out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to Austin. Thank you so much for showing up for me and for y'all. All right, check out the next video here and here. We did another two of them, so check them out. You don't got to stand like this. Okay. Okay, I loosen up. Gotcha. But if you know, if you move a little bit, it's fine. Just try not to move your feet too much.